Ta. The contest is between the force, the progressive forces in this nation and those that want to take this country back to those dark days when even the freedom of the press was never guaranteed. I want to take us down the memory lane. It was here on August the 17th, just under two weeks before the 8th of August, but in this case, August 17, 2010, when this country witnessed the birth of a new constitutional order. And as terms, we have come to realize that democracy is possible, but we have to make sure that we operationalize that democracy. What has been wanting is the practice of democracy, but and also the need to give, give a spirit of constitutionalism. Therefore, August the 17th, 2010, will go down in history as a beautiful day here, here at Uhuru Park. It is here at Uhuru Park that my, I remember my good self and my brother Ayla, together with the former president, now retired, Mike Kibaki, were able to launch the new constitutional dispensation. And I want to remind Kenyans that it was at this place that important decisions have been taken. And those decisions have not been taken to fruition. They have not, at the end of the day, been able to be actualized. But this time round, we come to Huru Park to ask fellow Kenyans to join us on a journey, which is an important national journey. We come to you. Because in a short while, we will be launching the NASA Manifesto. And the NASA Manifesto, the seven pillars, were addressed by a group of Kenyans who spoke before us. I want to ask a few questions. What happened? What happened to Vision 2030? Because under the Grand Coalition government, great infrastructural strides were taken which now Jubilee claim to be their own. But even in laying claim, they lack the proper statistics. Juzi wa mesema, kwamba wa meweka lami kilomita ma elfu na ma elfu, only to realize, kwamba hile esabu alikuwa mepeana, ingekuwa kama ni kweli, wangekuwa meweka lami kutoka Kenya, mpaka Tanzania, mpaka DRC, Congo. Uongo wa ajabu. Kwa hivyo tumekuja leo, itakuwa ni siku ambayo ikona umuhimu mkubwa zaidi. Wakuleta wanainchi wetu wa pamoja, kusema ukabila tunawakatalia mbali. Ikiwa ni serikali ambayo tutayunda, itakuwa all inclusive. Mimi, nimezungumza hapa wali, na kumbuka mwaka alumbili na mbili, wakati tulisema kibaki tosha. I said I was ready to bite the bullet. I bit the bullet. Or did I not? Nikasema Kenya ni kubwa kuliko mimi kalonzo musioka. Ata loo mutu yu kwa ukijana u 